Hi everyone, my name is Tanya and today I am sharing a video for Natalie's Creative Squad and the theme that we were given this month was uh, Today We Smile so I thought to I thought about things that make me happy and uh, of course crafting makes me really happy and the sun's come out and the weather's warming up so there's lots of things that make me happy so I'm gonna be using two of Nat stamps so I'm gonna be using Maiko which I love uh, and for some reason I've never used that before and I'm going to be using a stamp from the embroidery set uh, that's one of the earlier sets that Nat had with Rebel Moon Designs. So I am inking up the running stamp from the embroidery set with some embossing ink from Wow Embossing Powder. And I am stamping it down and I am going to cover the whole page. Um, I've decided to film the video a little bit slower this time round. Uh, rather than sped up too fast and because I thought maybe uh, it might be nice to just sit back, relax and enjoy a video, a longer video, so that I have some time to <laughs> chat as well rather than rush through the whole thing. So I've just uh, put down the uh, embossing ink, uh, just stamped with the embossing ink and I'm sprinkling some gold super fine embossing powder from WOW again and I am tapping it off and I am returning the embossing powder back to the jar and before I take my heat gun to my paper I always let it warm up for a couple of seconds because that will ensure that uh, the powder melts rather than blows away off your paper and gold embossing powder is one of my most favorite embossing powders to use on my projects this is another thing that makes me smile another thing that makes me smile is using distress oxides now these are um, brushes this is a brush from a set by a company called picket fence studios and they're called life-changing brushes and they are just the softest brushes that you could ever use um, I just couldn't stop touching them when I first got my hands on them so I've just taken a little swipe of the picked raspberry distress oxide onto my brush and I have concentrated most of the color in the middle and I am fading it out towards the end so I'm not applying any more ink onto my brush I'm just taking whatever is on the brush and whatever is sitting on the paper and just creating a really soft faded effect and I'm really happy with how that turned out I would really really recommend using those brushes for inking I'm really looking forward to using them more in the future. So now I am taking out Maiko, the Maiko stamp set. Oops, <laughs> this is where you see me make a mistake. I forgot to take out the uh, foam pad from my Misty stamping tool, which is what you need to do when you're using red rubber stamps. When you're using clear acry acrylic stamps, uh, not sorry, photopolymer stamps, um, you can use the foam uh, pad but when you're using red rubber stamps you need to remove the foam pad because the red rubber stamps are a bit thicker so there you see me do my CPR on my uh, stamp and I am happy with how the image looks and I'm going to be doing another thing that makes me happy and smile which is watercoloring um, with uh, distress oxide so I'm using wilted violet and I am putting down a little bit of uh, water down so you will need to dilute it a little bit if you're going over a stamped image because it is slightly opaque 
and it will obscure um, your details. Um, but I, I, it, I wasn't really fussed about that. But if that matches to you, you could go over it and stamp it again with your MISTI tool, which will help you align your image perfectly every time. So I am <laughs> definitely no watercolor artist. I am not an expert. I am just uh, following the really sketchy outlines of the micro stamp set. And I've just quickly put down some color. And then I'm going to use the same Distress Oxide uh, Picked Raspberry, which I used before. And I'm going to be adding touches of the pink here and there. Now, because this is Distress Oxide, it will react to water. And I love the way the colors blend together when you do water coloring techniques like this. So it's not only lifting the purple that's already on my um, stamped image right now, it's also helping to give a slightly blended effect as well. Um, so now, again, this is just me just basically doing things that make me ridiculously happy. And again, disclaimer, I am no coloring artist, but I love coloring pencils. So I've got my Prisma color sorry, not Prisma Color, my Polychromos Faber-Castell pencils out. And I am doing some quick colouring to add in more details to her hair, to her face, and adding some colour to her cheeks. There I'm adding some colour to her lips. And I am adding some shading as well. I love how beautifully these colours blend together. And I'm not being overly careful to cover the whole surface because I think that effect lends itself really nice, nicely to how this, uh, this stamp looks. So I was going to leave the sleeve of uh, this uh, geisha white, but then I thought it looked a bit too stark. So I added a bit more pink. Uh, distress Oxide picked raspberry to it and then I'm going over some of the lines with a blue-gray polychromos pencil and I'm just adding some shading and just highlighting some of the lines just to give additional interest and depth. There, now I'm happy with how that looks. I'm going to put everything away and I am cutting the image out. Again, fussy cutting is something I love doing. I find it really relaxing and the more detailed an image, the happier I am. So here is Michael. She's all cut out and I am just layering her on my embossed and inked card panel just seeing how she looks and then i decided to put her a little bit offset to the side um and then i have i have put down some foam tape on the back um this is something i love doing on cards because I think just adding that dimension gives it that really nice finished look. And uh, I have got a top folding card. And I am going to peel off the backing of my foam tape. And I am going to stick it down to my top folding card. Does anyone get really stressed putting down your panel on your card? Just to make sure that, you know, it's all evenly aligned. <laughs> I always find it really stressful. And then afterwards I think, oh, I've misaligned it. But anyway, I think this looks alright. So now I'm sticking down Michael. And I'm adding a little bit of shading under her feet. Um, just to add a little bit of grounding underneath her so that she doesn't look like she's floating in midair. And I have got 
um, the Tim Holtz ideology stickers. I think they're called Big Church. Um, there will be a link of all the products used in on Nat's blog. Uh, and if you're on YouTube, there's a clickable link below in my bio. And thankfully, the set had the word smile in it, which went perfectly with my theme. And I think it looks great on the card background. So here are some close-ups. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.